just be out, out with, with us to the Belizean rainforest. We are staying here at the Sleeping Giant Lodge for four nights. It is managed by Belize Collections. It is a sister lodge to Jaguar Reef that we just stayed at. And if you have seen those videos, you have to watch them. We will leave the link in the description below. If you're new to our channel, I'm Irina. And I'm Devon. And we create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. The Sleeping Giant Lodge is located about an hour to an hour and a half away from Belize City. So when you arrive to uh, the main international airport, they actually do have shuttles for you. They pick up guests all the time and this is one of the vents they picked us up from the city and because they have a sister lodge at the beach in Hopkins they also shuttle their guests back and forth between the sleeping giant and Jaguar reef lodge so this is the main lobby this is where you would arrive and this is just an open concept. It is so beautiful. Right now it is end of November, so it's Christmas decorations all around. And this is the main registration area. They will take your temperature here, check you in. Look at this beautiful handmade chandelier. And this lobby is an open concept lobby. They have fruits here on display. And yes, they do grow their own cacao. And we had a chance to actually open one of this and try it. And the taste is absolutely incredible. It's sweet and sour. I can just eat just a fruit like that. Um, they all grow here a lot of different fruits. We will show it to you later. Uh, they have a little bit of a comfortable seating area here. And to get to the restaurant, they have this nice walkways. And you see right away, there's so many different plants all, all around, so much greenery. This is a rainforest and it does rain a lot. So it is perfect for all the plants to grow. But before we go to the restaurant, I want to stop here at this creek. This creek is actually a part of the river that flows right next to the property. Uh, it, the water is super clear. It is just so picturesque and beautiful and we will show you the creekside cottages as well and this is the grove house restaurant uh, they have uh, the belize collection have um, the chef Rahim and he's the main chef and he developed the menu for both the paddle house at Jaguar Reef and here for the Grove house and as we walk to the restaurant again so much plants so many flowers all around and just take a look at this cutest Christmas decorations handmade organic from from the earth right here it is amazing so they serve breakfast, lunch, dinner here. I cannot just pass by another amazing Christmas handmade decorations. The bathrooms from this restaurant, for this restaurant here, there's seating area on this floor and also upstairs. If there's too sunny, they have the shade here for you. They have the bar. Hi guys, and here they have infused rum, pineapple infused, cilantro, mint infused, ginger infused, orange, coffee infused. It is awesome, and they do offer you different types of mixed drink as mixed drinks as well. Here is just a, another lounging area for the restaurant if you just want to uh, maybe get online and just sit down here and relax fresh flowers from the grounds here it is amazing um, beautiful jaguar here i love this area right here it is so beautiful and just take a look outside wow
By the way, here at the Sleeping Giant, they only have Wi-Fi here at the restaurant and at the reception area, and there is no Wi-Fi in the rooms. So this is the best place to unplug from all the technology and just enjoy the nature sounds instead of the TikTok sounds <laughs> and just be one with nature. Again, here they have a little bit of Christmas decorations and here you can see the Grove House. They specialize from a field to table eatery and the food here is amazing. So here is another uh, cute balcony. From here you can see the inside of the waiting area and uh, beautiful grounds. So now we're gonna go upstairs to show you what the top deck for this restaurant looks like. Even though they have a set menu here at the Grove House, but they do change up the menu right now as we're here, they're actually bringing up new items in the menu as well. So if you decide to come here even every year and stay here you don't get tired of the same items and while you're here they have specials for lunch and dinner every single day so again if you don't want to get the same kind of food menu uh, you can also get specials so in this area they have continental option for a continental breakfast if you wish uh, here is a really cute private setting and from here again you you get beautiful views of the property and it is so lush green It is open concept. There is literally no glass, no windows here. Look at this handmade Christmas decoration. Isn't it beautiful? And this over here are actual knots that come from a tree. Um, in our uh, later vlogs, we will show you we, we did Mayan cooking class and our cooking teacher explained what these nuts are they make a lot of different things out of it but you have to subscribe to our channel to find out what it is here you have another seating option uh, right now the chairs are turned down because it was raining but again the view here is it just feels so secluded and the air here is really fresh. In the evening, this whole area lights up. We'll, we'll tell you in just a little bit what you're seeing downstairs. And here, it's a perfect spot for you to have a cocktail or a glass of wine. And by the way, there are no TVs here. You can just steer into the greenery and completely relax. And the reason why this area is called Sleeping Giant is because there is a mountain there with the shape of a sleeping giant. And you can see it a little bit from here, from uh, this balcony, but we will show you a better view later on. So let's go downstairs and we'll show you the rest of this restaurant. This time I want to uh, exit from the back of the restaurant and this is another way for you to enter the restaurant as well. This is not the main entrance, but um, from here you can uh, go to mountain view rooms, which we will show to you later. Oh, hello friend, Kitty. Hi. Hi, Meow Meow. Hi, Kitty. Oh, there are a few cats running around on the property and they have a lot of animals, which is a lot of fun for kids.
Sleeping Giant has 600 acres of property it is really huge and it's not just this lodge that they have they have lots of uh, orange orchards uh, farmland and also real estate which we will tell you about some pretty good investments opportunities later which we are actually considering as well and now we are coming to this another restaurant Don Tanitas and they are specializing on incredible pizzas we had their pizzas and they taste so good because it is firewood pizza and this area you can actually see from the top of the restaurant that we were just upstairs on the top deck from here you can see the second and the third level of the restaurant and this again area well groomed you see they're cleaning right now they're always cleaning beautiful bamboo and you see the string of light right here is in the evening they light up this area it looks so beautiful so romantic and peaceful they have a little bar station here and over here they also have um, little uh, uh, touch huts where you can have lunch or dinner and it is right by the creek so if we go closer you can actually hear the water running i think i'm gonna have lunch here today look at this water cascading it is beautiful This is it for the restaurant and the lobby area. I know you're wondering if there is a pool here in the rainforest and yes there is and it is beautiful and large. So sorry. Thank you. So let's go check it out. I really do not want to leave this area and I do want to come back here for sure and I highly recommend you to come and experience Belizean rainforest and come here to Sleeping Giant. The staff here has been incredible and the, um, one of the owners of the Belize collection is Belizean and he actually hires a lot of the Belizean staff and he really supports the community as well look at this gorgeous walkway ah oh, the air is so fresh ready for it oh, okay and there is no one here today perfect wow surrounded by the jungle flowers greenery this is amazing let me know in the comments would you come to relax at this pool and growing up i was born in russia and we have a summer house and every summer my family would uh, go to the summer house for weekends and I was raised by the lake, by the tree. I used to grow food as well, like carrots and peas and berries, potatoes, of course. So I really missed that uh, connection with the nature because, uh, you know, being in New York for so many years in the concrete jungle, I really miss the nature. And here, for, being here for me is just really an incredible experience because I can hear all those bird sounds, all this incredible plants, and it is absolutely beautiful. And to me, I am right now in heaven. Yes, beach is amazing. And if you haven't seen our series from the Jaguar Reef in Hopkins, it is located right on the beach. It is an amazing setting as well. But you know, we lived in Hawaii for three years, so we got 
a lot of beach experience so right now for me i'm really in taking all this beauty and all the greenery and the rainforest and another thing that i want to point out here is in being in hawaii there are obviously coconut uh, trees but there is not much coconuts you that you can see but here in belize what i noticed there are coconuts growing on the trees everywhere and when we were staying at the jaguar reef the staff just went grabbed the ladder climbed the coconut trees got fresh coconut for us and served us fresh coconut water it was really amazing um, we're gonna go around to show you a couple of cottages and I also want to point out so as I mentioned before here they grow everything they pretty much serve right farm to table uh, they grow here on the property so I wanted to show you a couple of other cool things that they offer here uh, by the way being in the jungle there is actually a lot to do here besides relaxing by this gorgeous pool uh, uh, the sleeping giant offers a lot of free and paid activities as well so we'll go by a couple of activities later today and we will show you so this path leads you to creek side cottages and um, in this video, we will just show you quick previews. We will be publishing a complete video on uh, all the rooms that we had access to. And as we are walking to the cottages, if you look up, there is an actual orange tree. And you might think, okay, well, oranges are green, but here in Belize, uh, green oranges are actually ripe with a little bit of yellow. And the way they pick them is by touch. If it, get, get, if it has a little bit of give, they are ready to eat and they are really sweet. Here at the Sleeping Giant, they try to keep their fruits and vegetables as organic as possible. So I want to bring your attention to this uh, white part on the trees. This is actually lime, uh, st limestone that they paint uh, the tree barks with it. So they don't have to spray the oranges with pesticides. And this uh, um, limestone paint keeps the, uh, the bugs away so they don't eat the oranges. So this actual beautiful path leads you to your creekside cottages. And, and as you're just walking, by the way, they do light the path during the evening. So as you're walking uh, through this path, it, it gives you light in the evening because it does get really dark here. But uh, take a quick look at this cottage right here and we will show you more in a completely separate video the side of the pool and again there is a beautiful path good morning and this leads you to one of the free activities I was talking about earlier here the sleeping giant they have a river right next to the lodge and the lodge offers free kayaks and pedal boards that you can take out and kayak or pedal board alongside the river as we are walking i'm not sure if you can hear but there are different types of birds chirping the sounds of the jungle are amazing so here you can get uh, life vests and again they are provided free for you
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning. There are also plenty of hiking trails. And if we have enough time, we'll show you some of the uh, some of the hiking trails that they have. So here they are, kayaks. You can get the pedals at the reception area and pedal through this river. And by the way, in this river, there are no crocodiles, but there are otters. So you can, if you're lucky, you can spot some otters here. Look how beautiful and peaceful it is. There are several hammock bridges here on the property. Uh, we will go to a few of them later, but uh, they go hammock bridge one, two, three, four, and five. So the hammock br bridge one used to be right across this river in this area, but a year ago there was a flood and that bridge unfortunately got destroyed, but they are planning to build this bridge. So this one of uh, the hiking trails, you can hike alongside the river and uh, you used to be able to go from here right to that hammock bridge, but they will re rebuild it at some point. So hopefully when you come to experience the sleeping giant, you'll be able to see the new bridge that they built. But we will take you to a uh, hammock bridge two and three later in this video. So just keep watching. Let me know in the comments, do you enjoy the jungle or the beach or both? And by the way, here, the Belize collections provide this unique experience. They call it reef to rainforest. And what you can do is you can get the package to stay a few days at the beach in Hopkins, at Jaguar uh, Reef or at Almond Beach or at any of the properties that they have there. And they will shuttle you here so you can spend few days at the beach and few days here in the jungle. All this path are connected and you can just stroll through the entire property through all this greenery and just enjoy your day. What also is cool about the Belize collections is that they own beachfront property and rainforest property. So you can plan this really unique experience by uh, having a few days at the beach and uh, in the rainforest as well. And if you like to have, if you want to stay the entire time at the beach, but plan a few activities in the jungle, they also have a shuttle for you. So they will take you from the beach to the jungle and then bring you back. We will talk about the activities that they offer in just a little bit. So now we are at the river house and this is a two bedroom house with full kitchen. So take a quick look inside right now and we will show you a complete walkthrough later. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Look at that coconut tree. It is actually loaded with coconuts all the way at the top and it is taken over by other plants. And the other plants are weaving all the way around that uh, palm, uh, coconut tree. So we're still by the river house and this is another exit to the pond. And what's cool about this pond is there are actually turtles in that pond. So we'll just walk around and show it to you in a little bit. Yep, 
Here you go. See the turtle pond? And let's see if there are any turtles here so you can see. No, not, not close. But if you have seen our stories on Instagram, we post every single day everything that we're doing on Instagram. Uh, you can see in stories and we did show you some turtles here. So here there are different types of rooms. These are river view rooms. They have four of, of those here. So you can take a quick look now and we will show you a complete walkthrough later. <laughs> What you think about that room would you book that room and stay here at the sleeping giant i want to show you another super cool feature it's called the river deck and again the water here that you see it's actually coming from the creek and from the river that is flowing around the property You see how the jungle is just taking over this path? It is so beautiful. There are fresh water ponds everywhere. It's really cool. And right now we are heading towards the river. There are a lot of awesome lounging places and a lot of rooms have hammocks that you can just relax and enjoy and what's cool about this area well obviously this is the river deck it's overlooking the river but they also set up private dinners or lunch they can set up a lunch for you of course it's uh, upon request it is available for private parties celebrations or you can just come here maybe with your own snacks or a couple of drinks cocktails and just sit down here and enjoy and because again this is rainforest so obviously it rains a lot here it has um, a roof so you can even though if it's raining you can just sit down here and enjoy and relax and in the evening they do have lights a really nice warm uh, ambient light so it's really beautiful and romantic here and here is where that hammock bridge number one that i was telling you about a little bit earlier uh, this is this was the actual walkway to that bridge again they are planning to rebuild it and when they do hopefully we'll be able to come back and show it to you guys so let's go back up the hill quickly and we'll show you more rooms so now we are at the top of the stairs at the turtle pond and here I wanted to show you bunnies yes they do have bunnies it is perfect for kids uh, you can actually come and visit the bunnies uh, kids can interact with them and feed them as well and no they do not eat the rabbits so let's go inside and there are actually a lot of them here you can walk in and we'll open one of those Hello friends, hi! So this one we can open. They are being separated males and females, so they don't constantly breed. So you probably can hear the chickens and roosters. They have a chicken coop here and those chickens, they do eat 
and they prepare them at the Grove House here. So literally from land to the table. Here we are passing by one of their nurseries and they plant their own trees and they never they will never run out of flowers and herbs. And this is just a small nursery, but they have another one. And yes, those are the boys that you hear in this video. They're pretty big. And this over here is organic mint. So if you order a mojito from the bar, this is where they will take the mint and make your fresh mojito for you. So here there are more rooms and these are Riverview Suites. Again, there is water dripping from the creek. And just take a look at the entrance. This is actually panels inside the water and there are flowers growing all over the place. So take a quick look at this Riverview Suite and let us know what you think of this one. Besides the penthouse that we are staying at, this is one of our favorite rooms as well. And let us know in the comments, which one is your favorite room so far? Uh, we are heading down towards the river. And again, you see the water here and it's flowing from the creek. This is fresh water naturally flowing here. And of course they diverted different ways. So right behind this lush greenery, there is the river. But over here is the fresh water ponds here. And right in front of the ponds, there are riverside rooms. We're back upstairs and we are now at the nursery. And this path leads you to the main road that brings you to the lodge. So, Another one of my favorite things here are peacocks. <laughs> I love animals and nature. So peacocks here just roaming around. Of course, they have the peacock sanctuary and in the evening they put them back in the cage. But during the day, those peacocks, look, they're just walking around. And at the road, they have a sign for peacock crossings. So the one with the bigger tail is male and with the smaller tail is a female. This is the main road that leads to the lobby of the lodge and from here we have just a little sneak peek of our penthouse. It is a mountain view penthouse and it is located up the mountain. And to get there, there are 90 steps that you have to take to go all the way to the top. Right now, we're not going to go all the way up right below our penthouse. There are a few mountain view rooms uh, or mountain room suites that uh, you can also book and uh, they 
with half mountain view. So the lodge is divided by the riverside, um, creek side uh, suites and the mountain view suites as well. And again, we created the entire video for you of um, most of the room types and Sleeping Giant and the Belize collection is building more different room styles for glamping, for adults only. So it's going to be a lot of different accommodation options available for you. And they also are trying to have more affordable options for you as well. Here we are passing by another massive tree with beautiful flowers. And this is the walkway also to the main lobby to the main reception area and sleeping giant lodge offers you free bicycles that you can take around the property explore the hammock bridges which we're taking you in just a little bit and they will also have electric bikes really shortly for an additional price but these are free for you to use if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to click like and let us know in the comments if the Sleeping Giant Lodge is a place that you would explore as well. And this is the head cowboy Sherman. Hi, Hi good morning. Is it my girl Hefa? Yes, this is your girl Hefa. Yeah, good morning, Hefa. How are nervous. you? We took a horseback riding with Sherman a couple of days ago and it was amazing. We will leave the link in the description of the video as well. So yes, they do have their own stables here. Wasn't it cool? We just met the head cowboy Sherman on the way here to the lobby. So before we go back out to show you the rest of the property, let me tell you what other activities there that there are here in the area uh, besides the free kayaks and uh, exploring the grounds hiking and the animals and all this uh, cute patios where you can just chill and relax uh, you can also get different types of tours and i also want to uh, give you a little bit of pricing as well and of course the pricing might change but at least you have a bulk idea. So Belize has a lot of different Mayan ruins and from here from Sleeping Giant you can take different tours. So for example you can go explore Tikal Mayan ruins and it is 175 US dollars per person. One of the most popular ruins in Antonich and Chakal Pech Mayan ruins ruins is 95 dollars and you don't need to have a car again they have a, a van that they will drive you to all the tours and you don't even have to rent the car when you come in from Billy city or hopkins again they can arrange transportation for you not too far from the sleeping giant lodge they have saint herman's ceremonial cave and they do dry cave expeditions and it is 75 dollars per person they also do uh, wet expedition uh, cave tubing in the same saint, uh, saint herman's cave and that tour is 75 us dollars uh, they also have black hole drop repelling. It is 105 US dollars per person and includes the lunch, entry fee and uh, some water for you as well. They can also arrange a tour for you to ATM cave. This is the most popular cave here in Belize. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the full name because I'm gonna butcher it for sure, but it is $125 per person. It includes lunch, water, entry fee and park fees. Uh, you can also do a really cool jungle safari after dark here. It is 35 US dollars per person. A water, waterfall cave expedition is $105 per person. Um, bird watching also is available and when we go show you the rest of the property well we can show you the entire property because it is 600 acres but some of the cool spots that they have here we will show you where they do the bird watching it is 35 US dollars per person um, and again as I mentioned the, the free hikes that they have and one of the cool hikes that they have here is the gazebo and we will show it to you later it is all the way on top of the hill and 
it is absolutely free and uh, the kayaking is free and um, the horseback riding that we just saw is uh, $91 per person and they also have buggy rides here it is perfect for kids for the entire family it is $30 per person uh, they can also take you out to Belize Zoo and for some zip lining for $135 per person and the entry fee to the Belize Zoo is also included. So they don't have a separate massage spa here, but if you do want massage, they uh, can set up the massage table right in your room. And you saw that those beautiful patios in the rooms that they have here, and it is perfect for a massage. So just to give you a few price options, so aromatherapy massage is 75 US dollars, deep tissue 80 uh, tropical fruit scrub is 55 and they also have some facial uh, uh, and other treatments so there are really a lot of things to do not only at the lodge but really nearby just a quick drive there is the angel falls they you can do waterfall hike there waterfall repelling you can also do zipline and from what we've heard this is the best ziplining as well if you have any food allergies or dietary restrictions, just be sure to contact the lodge prior your arrival so they can accommodate all your dietary restrictions. And one more thing I want to mention before we go to explore the rest of the property is this is rainforest, this is jungle and there are a lot of mosquitoes here they do provide you with off mosquito spray uh, here at the main registration area but if you want to have your own maybe organic uh, mosquito repellent spray or if you want to have a spray bottle right in your room i actually notice in the room uh, we don't get bit but when you as soon as you walk out of the room maybe you want to spray yourself before you get here to the registration area you so you can bring your own mosquito spray repellent as well all right so now let us show you the rest of this gorgeous area at the sleeping giant lodge just a few minutes away bike ride from the main registration area the sleeping giant has this awesome place it's called the nest it is located right next to Sabun river and there is a really short hike off the main road or you can try to take your bicycle here as well but this place is amazing you see this incredible place it is called the nest the sleeping giant has a really cool feature you can actually have a picnic here you can request and the staff will uh, set up the picnic for you or you can just take the food from the restaurant and bring it up here yourself you can have a glass of wine here and in the evening they actually have lights here so it is beautifully lit it is gorgeous and of course it is overlooking the sleeping giant mountain and the Sabon River so let's go upstairs to show you the view this nest was built about two years ago the stairs are spiraling all around this massive tree it is safe and secure to come here the steps feel really sturdy And it has two decks so right now we are at the first deck and right away wow it is so peaceful here so romantic the views are spectacular and if you like to just relax after a nice picnic we would have to go upstairs. It is limited to two people only. Wow, it is so cool. So just be really careful coming upstairs. Just watch your step. Oh, I actually never been this high in any type of tree houses or 
this high on a tree. Wow, there is a net here. Mm. The views are insane. Ah, and I can see through. Okay. Super cool. From here you can just sit and enjoy the view. You can see the bridge that we, we are about to cross and go check out some hammock bridges. Wow, come take a look over here. <laughs> so beautiful. What do you think, guys? Would you have a picnic here? Let us know in the comments below. Let's continue our tour. Sleeping Giant has so much things to offer. I know guys, for you it doesn't look like much, but it's actually really high up and it's pretty nerve-wracking. So this staircase is so curvy and it goes all the way around the tree. So we were wondering, how is that they curved the wood so perfectly around the tree? But this is genius what they made. They created this slits an inch apart throughout the entire wood plank and they inserted more wood in between and the moisture and heat just combined everything together and that's how you they were able to build this staircase all the way around the tree genius just a quick bike ride away you can come and explore hammock bridges there used to be actually five of them but the first one that goes right over the river got washed away with the flood so now they have four so from here you can access two of those bridges and uh, number two and number three and number four and number five you have to hike to it which we will show you later so be sure to to subscribe to our channel we will be publishing a hiking video later on so let's go and explore bridge number two To get to this bridge you have to bike ride through the orchards of oranges grapefruits lemons it is so peaceful what the view are you ready go look at the view how awesome is that wow you already know guys we'll be taking lots of pictures here and it goes right over the river and you can also actually kayak through the river as well whoa oh my god it's really shaking i've actually never been on a hammock bridge like this wow this feels so cool. The scenery is gorgeous here. The sounds of the river is so peaceful and the water is super clear. We are pretty high up and it goes 
to our tree. This bridge helps you cross the river and there are some paths here to go hiking, but we're going to get an easier route to get to hammock bridge number three. Just a short ride away, we are now at the hammock bridge number three. It actually crosses absolutely the same river, it's just a little bit different setting. It is a short walk to the bridge and it is so beautiful. So if you're wondering what this lump of dirt here on the tree and you actually might see them throughout the property this is actually a termite nest and these termites are edible before we continue i want to introduce you to osman he is our tour guide today and he's taking care of us throughout the entire stay so osman will show us yes. how to get those termites out of the nest just have to break a little bit and of course if you break into anyone's home they're gonna come outside to see what's going on and after you get them you can take a look they're right there oh the big one is yeah that's that's just an ant, ant. but these small ones are the termites they are small and little brown so Devon will try one right now oh. so as we mentioned before they are edible can you see them in my palm yeah mm, yeah they have a little pop to them when you bite into them it they taste very woody there's one crawling on my thumb there <laughs> they actually have a good pop to it i like yeah. the pop to it um and again yes they do taste uh very woody and According to Osman, right, if you were kind of out stranded in the jungle and you come across a termite nest and you need to survive, it would be a, obviously a great source of protein, but you would probably have to eat about half of this <laughs> nest for you to even get, you know, sufficiently full. But that's pretty cool. It doesn't taste bad. Maybe you guys should try it when you come here. So... Let us know in the comments, would you try a termite? <laughs> would you dare try a termite? I know I wouldn't. It was raining last night, so the path is a little bit wet. But, you know, we're in a rainforest. So it is to be expected. Oh, this is beautiful. So before I step on it, check it out. Wow, this is gorgeous. And this hammock bridge has a different design and I love the way they weave the ropes here. This is absolutely gorgeous. And right there on the distance, you can see the yoga hut and we will take you there shortly. So stay with us. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. We are staying in Belize for almost two months and we're creating a complete Belize guide for everything you need to know about Belize, where to stay, what to eat, what to do, and what to expect or what not to expect. And again, we just cross the river and from here it just leads you to different hiking path. But today we're not hiking, so let's head over to the yoga hut. As we are exploring 
sleeping giant area we go through orange orchard and as you can see over here this tree is loaded and we had these oranges for breakfast and they're so sweet so Osman here picked the perfect orange for us and as soon as he started peeling it we were 20 feet away I smelled the orange scent it is so concentrated so aromatic and if we squeeze it's not too soft it's not too hard but it gives a, a little bit of it has a little bit of give so let's try this orange right now all the oranges at the restaurant at the grove house come from this orange orchard and they actually squeeze orange juice from this um, oranges hand squeeze and they do not add any sugar it is so refreshing and so delicious when you're coming to the sleeping giant with your family small kids this is the perfect place to come and wet your feet here at the river it has steps going all the way down the water is super clear and as you can see there are so many little sardines in the water and if you just hang out in the water and relax they actually come and nibble at your feet so you get to have a free pedicure and from here from this spot you can actually see the hammock bridge number three that we just showed you this water is super clear and it's actually drinkable it gets filtered through all the rocks and the mountains and it's not even that cold it is the end of october and as you can see i'm standing in the water i don't have goosebumps or anything i don't even feel cold it feels really cool and this is the same river that flows all around the property and it's the same river that we saw right at the lodge this is super cool so now let me show you this area where we are at this is actually a place where they do yoga um, it used to be once a month right uh, they suspended it a little bit because of um, COVID but now it's still available upon request it is a beautiful space here it's right in the middle of the rainforest with sounds of the river and from here you can see water dripping from the mountain it is so peaceful and beautiful and there is this gorgeous hut and by the way over here this is where Mayan cooking classes are being held as well and of course we will be bringing that uh, the entire video about this experience to you as well and you're literally surrounded with a with forest here and trees it is super peaceful and relaxing and here they also have a separate designated area with bathrooms uh, washing station and you, where you can change for your yoga class let me show it to you right now and of course you do not need to bring yoga mats with you they do have it here uh, on the property as well It's a nice hike here or you can take the bicycle warm up before your yoga class to get here and get back to the lodge in time for breakfast and this cute hut is actually where the bathrooms and changing areas are really clean has a large mirror here and the bathrooms are here and you're surrounded <laughs> with orange trees and they're actually loaded this is the changing area right here and on the other side they have bathrooms here Now let's go back to the, our next spot.
Do we have any yogis watching? If you are a yogi, let us know in the comments and also let us know, would you practice some yoga in the middle of the rainforest? So I know not everybody wants to walk or ride a bicycle, but if you still like to explore this gorgeous property of the Sleeping Giant, they have this gator available at uh, the registration area. So if you see it's there, you can request it and they'll be more than happy to give you a tour. So now let's go to our next location. Here at the Sleeping Giant, you can also purchase real estate. As you can see behind me, there are empty lots. They are available for sale. But the Sleeping Giant and the Belize Resort Collections are actually building out lodges. And you can invest in your own home here in Belize. You can treat it as your full-time home or maybe a vacation home. And whenever you are not here in Belize, you can rent it out and the sleeping giant will also manage your property and you can have some investment right here in Belize. What do you think? From this spot, you get a perfect view of this little gazebo located on the very peak of the mountain. It's actually an observation deck built by the sleeping giant and you do have to hike there. Again, we will create a separate video for this hike. It takes about 25 minutes to get there, but I can tell the views are going to be absolutely spectacular. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys have been following us, you would know that I was born here in Belize, which makes me Belizean. I left Belize when I was about 10 years old, and I actually grew up in New York. I spent most of my time in New York, coming back every once in a while to visit family. I haven't been back in over 15 years, and it's funny because even when I was in Belize, I was born in Belize City, and that's where I spent most of my first 10 years in the city, and that's all I knew is the city life and then moving to New York, which is, again, just a bigger city life. So coming back this time to Belize has been an amazing experience because being here at Sleeping Giant, it's in the neck of the woods. It's like you hardly get any reception out here. It's just all covered in jungle. You're like in the middle of the jungle. And growing up in Belize, that's never been a thing that I experienced. Even coming back when I left Belize and went to New York and came back to Belize to visit family, I would always stay in the city. So I never experienced jungle life here in Belize and now this time coming back with Irina for the first mm -hmm. time we've been experiencing the jungle and it's just been so amazing it's just mind-blowing and I wish I would have done it much sooner every time I came back to Belize that's for sure well, I'm glad we did get to experience the jungle and my jungle perception was absolutely different. Here at the Sleeping Giant, the grounds are so well groomed. They're, they have a nursery, they're planting everything. Everything is from farm to table. They have so many plants and flowers here. This is one thing that really stood up uh, right away. We were in Hawaii for three years pre previously. And even in Hawaii, we have not seen this many flowers blooming. Yeah, and but dense jungle for a station. It's just crazy. And another thing, I didn't know that Belize had cacao and cacao is the plant where they used to make chocolate. And I had no idea. And I also did not know that Hershey built a factory here in Belize because they were using the cacao plant to make Hershey chocolate. So I've already learned so much about being here. Then on the ground, as Irina was speaking about all the different plants and, and trees they have here, they have their own orange orchard. orchard. Yeah, it's just amazing. We were staying at the Mountain View penthouse and the view is absolutely stunning. You can get a perfect view of that sleeping giant. It is incredible and it is so peaceful here and it's actually a lot of activities you can do here as well. So we know you want to see different room types. We started doing hotel tours in Hawaii and you 
uh, all commented that you want to see the inside of the room so uh, sleeping giant actually allowed us access to show you guys all different room types and this will coming up next in the next video so if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and like this video if you find it useful thank you so much for watching and as usual just, just be, be out, out with us, us.